Hello and welcome to a Seismic Cinema podcast and we've got yet another guest. I don't know why people keep coming on here, but they, they, keep, they keep doing it anyway. So for the intro, so put your feet up on Joffrey's tombstone, grab some rocks and prepare to watch Game of Thrones answer for the first Trek movie. If, if you know, you know. The first what movie? The first Shrek movie. Did I get the ref- did I get the reference? Everyone's saying that Alison was best at Princess Fiona. Oh right, okay, okay. I didn't see that. No, um, I did not see that. But anyway, I should probably do my duties. And we are joined by the fabulous. Okay, is that your dog? Oh, is that your dog or what is dog? Let's go, you dog. That one's fine. <laughs> yeah, that one's yeah. fine. Um. Yes, we have Cody from Dungeons and Dragons, the indie podcast champion of 2022, the disser of seismic cinema, <laughs> <laughs> the bearded legend himself. How are you, Cody? I am doing great, and I'm very happy to be here. I know it's uh, it's been quite weird because we've been we've actually talked to each other quite a lot through the. Indie podcast challenge way back when that was probably yep. what four four or five months ago. It feels like forever. Yeah, <laughs> and we've actually kind of spoke, spoke to everybody face to face. Yeah, th- yeah. Colin and I were saying that a little earlier. It's it's nice to actually you know talk. <laughs> I know. I was gonna I was gonna I try to get my my girlfriend on the on the, the podcast because uh, a couple of times you sent videos on the the group chats. She's like, oh my god, he's an amazing singer. <laughs> oh, she she wants me to sing, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I, I demand that you sing. Oh shit! <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's payback for dissing us. It's payback for dissing you. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. I gotta think of a good song. Uh, you, can save, you can save it for the end. Oh, no, no, right. no. No, okay. Yeah. All right. So, very good scene from So I Married an Axe Murderer. All right. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, honey, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> That's all you know, I know. You can just end the show there. I'm happy now. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see that one coming. Anyway, uh, Cody, do you want to give us a wee kind of rundown of your your show? Tell us where you can find us and all that. All right. So yeah, I am uh, Cody, the host of Dungeons and Podcast, where I get other podcasters to come and play D and D with me, or another TTRPG. It really doesn't matter. Whatever they want. Uh, and. You can find us on Spotify, Apple, Anchor, and Good Pods. I know that for sure. Maybe <laughs> other places that I'm not aware of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know the feeling. I have, I, um, when we're doing the indie post- podcast challenge, I did. I tried to listen to a couple of your shows, but because I I literally knew nothing about D and D, it was so hard. I was like, oh, what's going on? Well, now now you can listen to to the newer shows. Uh, because all of the older shows are gone because the group. Oh, hello, Bruno. The group decided that they they didn't want to do it anymore, and I said okay. So we stopped doing. I stopped recording with them. Um, and so yeah, uh, all the newer stuff I think you could probably follow because most of the people that are playing haven't ever played before. Oh, okay. okay. So all of you played before? I've not. My only experiences of it is Stranger Things season four. <laughs> and actually, Stranger Things, and um, one of the boys I work with actually, he was asking me about it uh, if I could, if I would play and stuff. But I actually at this point had no idea like, what it was entailed, and I tried to read the rules, and it sounded so complicated. I was like, my brain can't handle this. Can, you, uh, can we do a podcast where Cody Cody teaches us how to play? Oh yeah, you, I. Yes. Yeah. Because that's, that's, Cody, that's, that's my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
because you do themed, uh, themed uh, games. Yeah, like yeah, like what generally what they want to play. Like uh, um, like I suggested to the Wait Watt podcast those guys that we would play Rick and Morty, and they're like, yeah, and it took us so long like it was three sessions but we played a good while each time we got together um but it took us so long to coordinate schedule wise to get everyone together to play that yeah. by the time that i started releasing episode season six is coming out so it timed out perfectly i just wanted to get it because they said they wanted to play something that would be funny and i was like well okay this is definitely going to be funny it's rick and morty and then other people um wanted to play star wars uh yeah. the, so the so you think that was good do you they wanted to play star wars and so okay and then i've got loretta from pork chop soup uh javier from nerd talk plus and garrett from ever trending story playing a like long campaign uh but it's also star wars and then I played with um, Gabby and Katie from the Forget Me Nots, the Adventures of the Forget Me Nots podcast. Um, Steve from For the Booze, and Charlie from the Fandalorians, and we played the little Stranger Things pre-made box. But that episode, the recording got corrupted, so then I just wrote a sequel to it. For them to play with their own characters again, so we got back together and okay. recorded again. So, so yeah, that's what's that's what's out there right now. All of those are out there for people to listen to. Uh, the Rick and Morty one's not done yet, and the... just disappeared there. What did, that, I still... happen? did that happen for you? No, no I can, I it can says see that, yeah, everything's fine. It says it says live. But but there's still quite a few episodes of the Rick and Morty to go, and quite a few episodes of the Star Wars to go, the uh, recurring Star Wars one. Well, that's good because I, I couldn't even catch the the Rick and Morty one because I like Rick and Morty and I like um, I like the boys of out of uh, wait what they're really they're really funny. Oh, yeah, then I think you'll really enjoy it because I had a blast recording with them. It was so fun. I have fun recording with everybody. Like each one's different, and they're all fun in their unique ways. Yeah. See, I can imagine you know like, you get choices. I can imagine Colin being like erring on the side of caution on every single decision. <laughs> well, it's probably quite accurate. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we we get this show on the road then. Well, I mean, D and D is a good segue into. House of the Dragon. That's you know? Yeah. Lots of lots of choices in lots of choices in House of the Dragon have been very roll of the, roll of the dice and a, a bit off putting. <laughs> yeah, like you could play Game of Thrones as a D D game. It would be easy. <laughs> I think Colin froze. Colin? Yeah. I think he froze. Oh well, Cody. It looks like we're just not going to carry this off. Okay, <laughs> but and you then, don't remember anything. And then I don't know how we're going to finish it because I can't finish the video. Oh, he's back! He's back! I, I don't know what's happening. It just keeps your screens keep going black. Uh, you're freezing. Back, so I just, Colin, I believe it's called technical difficulties at your end. I don't know. If, probably. Issue. Right, well, I can actually, well, I can actually see is, um, so <laughs> episode five of the House of the Dragon. Cody. Oh, this is going to be oh. super <laughs> tough. <laughs> he froze again, right after, right after you said my name, he froze, Colin. Um, but I'm going to assume you were asking if how how. I'm back. That's <laughs> that's. <Okay. this. laughs> This, this has never happened to us before. <laughs> Although that's a good screenshot to take him just. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, goodness. Bruno. Come on, bud. Bruno, give us some entertainment whilst uh, Colin yes, sorts yes. himself. Hi. Well, I think me and you, Cody, are just going to have to carry this for a wee bit until Colin figures this stuff out. So, House of Dragon, episode five. Like I was just saying earlier on, I've just binged three episodes of Andor before we came on, and my head is mush. So I'll need you to carry. I'll need you to carry this, Cody. Need okay. You. All right. Um. So I watched it Sunday when it came out. Uh, good episode. Last episode with the youngest care with the young characters. Like they're all replaced in the next episode. It's a ten year time jump. Yeah, I'm quite sad about that actually. So I was quite liking the characters out there. Yep, I agree. I think they they did that on purpose. They gave us like five episodes of each, so it's like just as we were getting used to them as who they were and like liking them and their betrayals. <laughs> oh, what is good on me? <laughs> I'm out. I'm out here twice. You're on here twice, eh? Right. Can you hear oh, me? Back here. Right. Right, Colin. Bruno. We've just we've just summed up the whole House of the Dragon, so you can cut this episode now. <laughs> right. Are we better starting again or just keep going? Ah, just keep going, man. It's all good. Right, it's so all what good. have you What have you discussed so far, then? Uh, just, the just that it's. It's the uh, the last episode with the young actors. Yeah, Bruno. <laughs> um, yeah. How are you feeling about that? Well, well, I was just I was just saying that I was quite sad that because I quite like the characters that have been built. They've been building up, and now they're just going to mm. change it. Do you not know, think the one that plays Renata looks a lot? Like, it's meant to be like a ten year jump. She looks like. 20 years older, I would say. Yeah, she does. She looks a lot older. That gene pool just ages a bit funny. It's a, it's a bit weird, though. It's going to be totally different actors, but then the older actors will still be the same, so I reckon they'll, they'll need to age them up as well, I would think. Yeah. Well, we saw it a little bit with Viserys, right? Because we yeah. saw him and his hair is like mm-hmm. real thin and he looks a lot worse. Yeah. I was. Did you did you think he would make it to episode six? I thought. He no, was I thought like, yeah. Like, what? do you know he's going to make it to episode six? He's in the preview for episode six, and he's looking really, really old. Mm-hmm. He might die in episode six. Yeah, it would make sense. He does look very feeble. Yeah, it so would thought, make a lot of rate, sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I thought at the rate of. How much skin he was losing, and how many bits and pieces are falling off him. I, th- I didn't think ten years was going to be the the number. Oh, how I many mean, times did he fall over as well? Twice. I think I thought. Oh, more. I thought it was twice. Like I remember, he like got out of the carriage, and he just fell right over. It became a bit annoying after a while <laughs> that he fell over so many times. It was like, just just kill him off or or. Keep them strong. Just... And wasn't it wasn't it funny when that like one uh, that one maester was all like, "Here, it's a blend of herbs. I think it'll help him." And the grand maester's all like, "No, no, he likes a good leeching. It's fine. <laughs> the king really <laughs> likes it." <laughs> I thought they were maybe just gonna like put him out of suffering a wee bit. Uh, I think uh, that's called uh, assassination. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. I don't know. It's really hard to read these people because, like, you know, everyone, everyone's all mad at Allison, right? Like, everyone's like, oh, she's the bad guy. Like, mm, none of these people are good people. But, like, at least Allison's just doing something for her fucking family. Like, these other people are like, the Targaryens are also selfish and stupid. Yeah. I know. And Allison, I don't know. I don't know if. Now she knows about Sir Kristen. If she's going to start playing like a, a kind of little finger kind of game, like because she knows all the secrets now, how she's going to, how she's going to play it. Yeah, there there was that line about 
her family and when they wear green it's basically mm-hmm. they're, they're going to go into war yeah mm-hmm. so i think i think her character probably will change quite a lot in terms of like how she plays the game of thrones yeah definitely definitely because you know her dad's all like you've got to prepare Aegon to rule and mm-hmm. i mean you know that's what this is all building up to is definitely the the targaryen civil war yeah yeah oh by the way mind you're talking about that clip for joffrey hey did you did you listen to it oh i bloody seen it <laughs> <laughs> But like, oh well then. This this show, <laughs> like Game of Thrones in general, differs a lot from the books. So, a throwaway line in Game of Thrones, it's it's probably not going to be exactly like that. You never know. Well, if it isn't, if it isn't, the continuity monsters will be out in force. Do you know this, Cody? Uh I would, I would think it's going to be pretty close to it. I would think it's not exactly that, something very close to it. Yeah, because yeah. it could be one of these things where the stories kind of got diluted over time and it's maybe ch- like Chinese whispers. Yeah. It's not yeah. exactly who we think it's going to be. Yeah. Well, but, you know, like a hundred something years, yeah, it'll get exaggerated a little bit. But I don't know. I feel like just for the just for the shock value of it, I feel like they do it exactly as is. Yeah, yeah, uh, probably actually. Yeah. Did just you come across it? Did you just see a clip of it, Paul? Yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTube shorts, um, just like Game of Thrones ones, because like they're usually like Tyrion and stuff, just like flicking through. Yeah. And then it came up to that one, and I was like, "Should I? Shouldn't I?" I was like, "Ah, oh, I'll just watch it." And I watched it, and then. That was it. Well, me and Alien have been re-watching Game of Thrones like in between the House of the Dragons episodes and I can't remember No, I don't think we're at that bit yet I think I must have just watched a clip as well actually Yeah, I think Cody you think you said it was season 3 or something? Yeah, yeah season 3, he's talking to his then wife, Marjorie Tyrell Alright, I just clicked Lucky bugger Cody, was it you that mentioned that to us in the first place? Though? Yeah Yeah yeah. All right. And I just I just asked you if you'd seen it. <laughs> right. So <laughs> moving on, moving on from that. So Damon. Let's talk Damon. So even though he is just an awful person, I like him. Like I feel like Matt Smith is playing him really well. Yeah. I think Matt Smith's just a weird looking guy. Yeah, Matt Smith's real weird looking. Like, in, like <laughs> he just always has been. But, but like, he plays like this evil person really well. The Doctor, not so much. Evil people, yes. <laughs> yeah, so, it's weird. It's weird seeing him going from like the battle at the the stepping stones to just having like court life and stuff. Uh, and he goes from like the warrior to the devious bugger. And there was a wee segue where he, he gets sent back to the Vale and then quickly ended his first marriage. Well, so that's not even in the book. Like, him killing her isn't in the book. She does die, and no. it, it says that, okay, uh, the horse fell and crushed her neck and her skull. But it doesn't say he did it. Mm. So... That was a pretty cool interpretation of that event. I quite like that they did it that way, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do too. I really I, I've do. Not, I've not read that book. I've read most of the Game of Thrones books, but I don't really want to read it until the show's finished now. Well, that's going to be like five years. Well, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul will definitely be able to wait. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bother the book. <laughs> it, take, it takes me forever and a day to read, and like I buy books and then just sit there. Yeah, I generally I just read Star Wars books. If I'm being honest, like I can get through those. The other books, like even if I think that they're cool, 
I just take so long to read them, I eventually lose interest. Cody, can we do a spin-off podcast where we talk about our favorite Star Wars books? Because I've read quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so Damon murders his first wife, turns up at the <laughs> Turns up at the party and Viserys has to make a seat for him. Well, he wasn't it. Wasn't it like right here in this episode, or was it last episode? I thought it was this one. He shows up with the crown and he's all like, "Hey, you know they call me the king of the narrow sea." That was the last episode. Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're right. You're right. Because that's why I had to go to the veil. Because. Mm-hmm. Because Viserys told you right. Okay, so you get to it. So he he makes him a seat, and basically, Rhaenyra is giving him like the fuck me eyes the whole time. He sure is. Uh, just creeping from the corner of the table, just. <laughs> but also, mm-hmm. um, what is it? The daughter, the Corlys daughter. She's, yeah, she's, he made a she's gonna after him as well. I, th- I think mm-hmm. he just wants to, I think he just wants to marry somebody from that kind of bloodline, and he doesn't really care. <laughs> yeah, well, did you guys think it was weird how she was all like, Take me, take me out of here right now? Did you believe her? Did you think she actually meant that, or was she just winding him up? No, I thought she meant it. I thought she like I think she really wants to go. Yeah. I I think she wants to be with him. She's not happy with her life. Cuz cuz like now cuz Sir Kristen Cole is all like, "Nah, I can't. I can't be with you if you're not going to marry me." And yeah, like that's she so... wasn't willing to leave for him. She wasn't even willing to leave for Sir Kristen. Right. But as soon as Damon asked, her, she was like, "Yeah." Right. She's like very hypocritical. And that's why like like what I said like earlier, it's like none of these characters are like clearly morally good, mm-hmm. you know? So I think that's what makes the show so and something we're gonna talk about well, we're gonna film soon is the Andor first few episode review, but I think that show's got similarities in that they're not none of them are like that great of people. Mm-hmm. Which is what makes it interesting, I suppose. That's a good segue into uh, Sir Kristen, and he went from quite a calm, mild mannered guy to taking the the unfortunately named Joffrey Joffrey the Second out of the game. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Like he just came up and he's all like, "Hey man, we're gonna have our cake and eat it too." Sir Kristen Cole was not having that shit stuff. There's, there's um, <laughs> see that episode. Did you think it was going to be loads of tension build up, but they would just kind of leave us hanging? Like, were, were you surprised when the big fight broke out, or did, were you expecting it? Like, I didn't really see what started it all. Like, it was just. Uh, Viserys noticing that Damon and Rhaenyra are all like, mm, and and then all of a sudden there's just a big commotion. Was it not what um, Joffrey? I love that he's called Joffrey. Um, was it not what Joffrey? What he said to a. Um, Sir Kristen was was that not what it said it off or was that or was that just a wee bit a wee bit before? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think, so. I think it is, but yeah. but like you didn't see it. Was, I don't think it was enough to uh, smash his head in or enough, but um, that was. I, just, I thought a wee bit as well. I thought it was a wee bit of a stretch that they figured out it was Sir Kristen, like just because he was watching the person he was meant to be protecting. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he was like well, he, was staring, he was staring at her, but I didn't think he was looking like yeah. that's the girlfriend. They were quite close on the boat and stuff. They were always kind of talking and seemingly quite yeah, cool. But, yeah, but the two, the the knight didn't know that. The knight wasn't on the boat. Yeah, people talk though. 
still. I just think it was a bit of a stretch that that guy figured it out so quick at the wedding. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. It's like, who? It's like, a, how does he know who's the sources? Yeah, and then he just goes up to a king's garden. He's like, by the way, I know, you know, so we'll just keep that between us. And he's just like, nope, no. Yeah, he's like, what you heard was wrong. <laughs> And we thought he was going to take his own life, but the the queen swooped in at the at the last minute and gave him a reprieve. Yeah, he was ready to harry carry himself. I thought it was weird he was going to like do seppuku. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think the the queen and Sir Kristen might get together, or do you think it's more of an alliance? I think the Queen will use Sir Kristen as an asset now rather than because mm. she knows the secrets. Mm. She'll be she'll basically be his spy in the Renera camp. Yeah. So a big thing we didn't talk about was uh, the series arrival. What was the place called again? We've apparently seen it before. Um when like you remember Robin Aaron, Liza, yeah. um, Robin, oh, the veil. No, no, not the veil. Oh. The the place where the wedding is. I'm sure. I'm sure with because I saw a clip somewhere that we've seen it before. Littlefinger was there with uh, Robert Aaron. I'm sure they went there for like a tournament or or something. We, we, I can't remember what it's called, but we've definitely been there before. Oh, I don't know. I thought I just assumed it was King's Landing. I didn't realize it was somewhere else. No, it's not. It's, no, it's Drift Drift Mart, is it? Oh, that's the that's the that's the place where the the Coralis family lives. That's yeah, where they're that, that, really, Is that where they go for the wedding, though? I don't know. I thought he just went there to get to arrange the marriage. I thought that's where the wedding took place. Or am I just mixing Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I know what you're saying. Like I forgot that they they went up there to see the the uh, Valerians, the uh, the sea snake. Yeah. What did you make of that scene then, and how they they treated the king and the the conversations going on there? Yeah, I thought it was weird that they uh, that they that he wasn't. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. No, okay, it's gone. Okay. Um, I thought it was weird he wasn't there to greet the king. It almost made it seem like he was uh, not doing proper etiquette amongst the lords and houses out there, especially for the king. Because I feel like if the head of a house came to your keep, you're supposed to go meet him as the head of the house. And doubly so for the king, right? Like you don't the king's still a bit fully. I do. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I think that's so weird that he he doesn't come out there, and it's and like it's even weirder that Viserys doesn't give a fuck, so doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> do you not do you not think he's at do you not think he's at the stage now where he's so ill that he he just doesn't care? Like it's not that he's just ignoring it he just doesn't have the the strength to to fight for certain things anymore that may be because he's so sick yeah i didn't even yeah i didn't even consider that i don't know if i was that sick i'd be like yeah by the way get him out here i'm not walking up all them steps and my legs are falling off do you think we'll ever find out what's actually wrong with them or do you think it just kind of left to i feel like it's infection him? Like I feel like he's just got a severe infection from yeah. the throne. Like they yeah. always made comments in Game of Thrones about the the swords, <laughs> like basically stabbing the people that sat on the throne. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what tetanus does to you if you don't get a shot. Yeah, okay, that's you get too. locked jaw. Mm. <laughs> we talked about missing the the actresses that play Renera and Alison, but I'm gonna miss Big Paddy when he goes as well. Yeah. Um, uh, 
who else is changing? I think there are six people that are going to change. Is Sir Christian aging up as well? He would have to. Yeah, you think he's so? A, the same age, yeah. eh? Maybe, what's his face? The guy that Renera's marrying? Wasn't yeah, he, one I think yeah. he's going he's, yeah, he's to have well. to. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously the babies. So Aegon's going to be yeah. replaced. So <laughs> I saw that um, Aegon is going to be played by David Tennant's son. Hmm. Apparently. Oh. The the casting the casting director must be part of the Doctor Who family. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's Who? there's definitely a connection. Fun fact: I've never watched Doctor Who. I've watched a little. Some of it's okay. Some of it, I'm just like, yeah. I feel like it's one of those things I didn't get back to. I didn't get into it when it like first started, obviously. Um, so I'm like, I'm not really that interested now. It's a bit like, what's another good example? Of something that's been around for a long time. It's hard to get into. Well, comic books is a good start. Well, <laughs> I feel like at least with Doctor Who, you could like pick a doctor and just yeah. like watch that. Like, and in my opinion, if you're going to do it, just watch it with that the season one guy, whoever he was. He was the best. The rest of them, you can not, you don't have to watch. What one of the Doctor Who's is from Dunin, where we're from. Nice. Which one? Isn't it, Paul? That's right, isn't it? Um, Sylvester McCoy. Yeah, Sylvester McCoy is from Dunin. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact Thursday. <laughs> Two for hey, one Thursday. I was say, but the fact that Aegon's actors, obviously, and the characters aging up, that's going to add. Obviously, we'll be sad seeing the actors go, but I think him being older is going to ramp up the tension even further. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. How, how many episodes are left in this? Five this season. But it's Life. been it's been renewed. It's been renewed. It was renewed after episode one. They must have just went. These viewing figures are good. <laughs> yeah, light. but I think they said that episode three had a sharp decline, like like a twelve percent decline or something like that. It's probably been back up since. I would have thought though. Yeah, since the since the the gross scenes it probably went. That was episode. That was episode four though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah episode think. four was yeah. yeah. So that's all I was talking about on social media. I hadn't seen it until later on in the week, and I was just like, "What is going on?" I don't like know if I... this is a bad thing to say, but it's literally like it's like my favorite point of the week, nine o'clock on a Monday. <laughs> well, I feel like who are these people that are complaining about that? Because hello, you you watched it happen with with Cersei and Jeremy or Jamie, so it's like <laughs> okay, yeah, Jeremy. <laughs> So you watched it happen. Was, so like, why are people upset? Like, who are these people? Did you not watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, um, <laughs> I know. It's like, what were you, what were you expecting, really? Mm -hmm. And we all, we all know the Targaryens. Like, who you bet of inside like, Arcadian? Yeah, they're they're basically like the blue people. If you've ever heard about them, look up the the blue fugits of Kentucky. For a second there, I thought you were talking about the Blue Man Group in Vegas. <laughs> well, them too. See, when you <laughs> mentioned the, the Lannisters, actually, have we got any predictions or thoughts on other houses? Do you think the Lannister twins will come into play more? Do you think any other houses will... Do you think the Starks will get involved in any way or anything like that? Mm. The Lannisters have been in it a few times. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to play that big a role. I think because it's House of the Dragon, I think I want to kind of focus mm -hmm. on that personally. I think if they start bringing in houses to play massive parts in it, it might kind of dilute it for me. But I don't yeah. know about you, Cody. What do I, I definitely don't think we're going to see very much Starks. Like, I just don't feel like they're going to like come down and get involved at all. Suppose we're getting the Jon Snow sequel, so that'll have plenty of that part of the world in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I, mean, I can see alliances being formed right enough when 
like say um, they want Aegon to take the throne, she'll be trying to get favour from some houses, um, Alison. Whereas Rhaenyra will be getting her kind of soldiers in line, trying to get some back in her side. So I can see maybe alliances getting made in some way, in some form. Yeah. I thought, I, I thought in the trailer that I think Rhaenyra has, I think Rhaenyra's got children in the episode split. But I'm sure in the trailer they, there was, obviously trailers can be to make you think different things, but I think the children are probably not her husband. Right. Well. <laughs> um, yeah. That seems to be what the trailer was saying. I don't know whether that's our Christians or someone else's. Well, I mean, it's heavily implied. And I don't think I don't think it's going to be Sir Christians. But but yeah, um, oh. de- she definitely has kids. Yeah, actually, I read a spoiler on Facebook, and I think I know who's kids who's- yeah. Her her son's also named Aegon. That's confusing. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it's a Targaryen arrogance. We can have two the- Aegons at once. How do you see the her marriage going? Because obviously, they had that scene on the beach where they both lay, they basically set up a, an open marriage because they both had other people in their lives. But obviously, Joffrey's gone, mm-hmm. and uh, Sir Kristen's an out, outlaw essentially. Do you do you think it will just be a, a loveless marriage and they'll probably fit? It's difficult because Cody's obviously read the book, so he probably knows a lot more than we do, and he's probably like, they don't know what we're talking. About. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. I read an article that has told me that that what I said earlier was like was different in the book about that yeah. scene. What that? Wait, no. I didn't even read. I watched a video of the showrunner talking about it after <laughs> after the episode. I think he was like, "Yeah, so we definitely thought that Damon just killed her." Yeah. yeah. So I know I didn't read the book. He said he said that when he read the book. All right. Okay. Um. So yeah. So that's all we really know. But series is going to be really ill and old. Renata's going to look older, obviously. She's going to have children. And Aegon is older, so he's obviously going to be vying for the throne. Have you got any other hot takes, predictions for the episodes to come? Or is it just a case of strap in and enjoy the ride? I, I think that in this next episode, you're going to, like, if not already outright, see people challenging Rhaenyra's claim. Like, I, well, no. I think this next episode, Rhaenyra will get the throne. And then the episode after that, seven, I think we'll see a lot of people challenging that. I like that. I'll probably, I'll probably agree with Cody on that one. It'll be the Ceres dies, and then it'll just be a, mm-hmm. a, power, a power struggle straight from the get go. How yeah. exciting is it, though? No, wonder. I wonder how grand the services who knows going to be after what we just seen this week. Hmm. I hope there's not a massive gap between seasons one and two. Do you think it'll be like a year? Yes. Yeah, I think it'll be a year. That's going to be a long wait, but you can rewatch the majority of Game of Thrones. I think if you stop at season four. It's pretty good. I would say, I don't know. I quite enjoyed it up to seven. Like, I did enjoy a lot of seven. Paul, we did our ranking of the episodes and we liked the one with the, the loot train and the the dragon and the wolf and those kind of things. Yeah. Battle of Bastards. Yeah. Yeah. I did like those. So, I don't know. I would rewatch it, but. I just feel like I've got so much to watch now. Like, I think you were saying, what are you saying on the chat? Are you watching She Hulk? Yep. Yeah. Don't are you watching it? Like- yeah. I, it's like it's becoming like a guilty pleasure show for me. I don't think it's that good, but I still watch it every week. Yeah. Like, it's, I don't know. She She's not an easy character to like. Yeah. 
I just think the storylines are kind of getting a bit ridiculous. Yeah, like why did why was Megan the Stallion there twerking? Why was she Hulk twerking? <laughs> what what is this? You should um you should watch you should watch it at Christmas time, Paul. You didn't watch a uh, Hawkeye. I really like that. Mm-hmm. You should watch Hawkeye around Christmas. And it's not oh, a, it's not a movie, Cody. but it's, it's basically a new Christmas movie. Cody, if it's not Hawkeye, it'll be Rebels. I've got so much left to watch. Oh, you, watch Star you Wars haven't Rebels. watched Rebels? I watched season one. You okay, didn't watch so Clone Wars until I bullied him senseless into it. I did. And that was a good choice because Clone Wars very, was He's mm-hmm. very thankful. Right, talk about Star Wars. Will we wrap this up so we can end this call and end our and or call? I think we'll and f- or. And or. Yeah. And or, and or. And I'll do my best to edit out you freezing for about five minutes straight. Right. It's, it's even... Oh, no, it was, it was comedy. You have <laughs> done it. <laughs> I've done po- I've done quite a few podcasts at this house and that's never happened so that was that was new. Just a ghost in the machine. Just a ghost. Well, in the we, machine. we rebounded. So Cody, just since you did it at the the start, join it at the end. Just plug yourself a wee bit before we plug ourselves. <laughs> All right. Uh, please check out Dungeons of Podcast. Um, I'll have a new episode coming out. Monday, September 26th. Yeah, that's the right day. Uh, and then more episodes every Monday after that. And be looking out for a surprise drop as we get ready to start doing the Star Wars game again. So Nice. And if you want any more uh, Seismic Cinema Cody crossovers, then let us know. I'm definitely up for that uh, discussion about our favorite books. Yeah, that would be fun. And I can, I can chime in with oh. Paul can sit in the corner like watching watching TV or something. I'll chime in and be like, I read three chapters of Inferno Squad. <laughs> you no should read the Thrawn books. They're good. Right. I think we I think we should set that up. I've got some strong feelings in a lot of the books, and there's some I absolutely love, but we won't ruin, we won't ruin them here. So we'll do our wee bit of of plugging so we are on facebook twitter and instagram we've got over a thousand followers on twitter and it's it's a really nice place twitter twitter gets a lot of hate but i think the podcast community is great yep yeah uh, quite a lot of just yeah nice people when that get a lot of nice comments and um yeah like meet people that you, would, you would never meet before like cody probably never met you if it wasn't for twitter and the podcast challenge and that so As... we are forever grateful it's like having friends. Um, and what? the buy me a coffee thing, because I can't remember what oh, yeah. it's called. Uh, buy me a coffee. There's a link on our Twitter, and we'll we'll post it somewhere else as well. So if you want to donate a few pennies to us, help us buy some future good tech, like microphones and cool lights and Funko uh, Pops, then, yes. then do so. We can't, we can't all be amazing and win podcast challenges and win equipment like <laughs> young young Cody here. We can get the wooden we can get the wooden spoons. And by, by the way, anyone listening, if they can find it, they should go back and find the diss tracks if they can, because they are amazing. Oh, Cody's is oh, amazing. Yeah. Cody's is brilliant. All four of them were great. What did we get for finishing again to the semifinals? Um I get old smacking. That's what we got. <laughs> right, I'll get back on with the, the the plug. So you can find us on YouTube, Anchor, Good Pods, Apple Pods, Google. Did I say Google Pods? I don't know. Uh, Amazon Music, Audible, all the different pods. And uh, we've had a really positive week on YouTube. We've, we're stuck in fifty eight subscribers for ages, and I was like, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Sixty six. Usually it's a number of Scottish people hate, but oh, World Cup joke. Why? Because it's the year. It's the year England won the World Cup, and we have we've heard, we've heard oh. it constantly for was it a long was time it now. over Scotland? No, but they like to talk about it a lot. Yeah, like any time the England football team is <laughs> on on TV, they just go, oh, and uh, England last won World Cup in nineteen sixty six. Oh, and 
by the way, Cody, the next time you see those boys from the Weight Walk podcast, you need to remember these words. It's not, <laughs> it's not coming home. It's not coming home. Remember yeah. those words. And... It's not coming home. Okay. And they'll be like, what's well, not coming home? And I'll be like, it's not coming home. And it hasn't since 66. <laughs> right. Cody, you're the man. That segue was my fault. But yeah, generally, it may not seem a lot to the uber successful YouTubers, but eight subscribers this week is, is really good for us. So we're pretty pleased with that. Yep. And uh, just hopefully they're not um, bots because, you know. Or, uh, or podcast promoters. Totally organic and legit. Cool. Well, this podcast is will come out on friday at some point by the time we add our intro in and then on monday we'll be dropping our review of the first three episodes of andor also featuring cody and sorry to break the fourth wall but we're recording it as soon as this call ends so paul are you wanting to share our slogan or do, do you think cody knows it oh i don't know i'm gonna say probably not that's what that's what it could you could teach him in this one and he can do it in the next one right Okay, that is the power of family values. That is the power of family values. That's actually the power of escapism, but Paul got it wrong. The, the, that I, is I, the I, power of escapism. I yeah, thought it was just uh, tie it in with House of the Dragon, just lots of family values. We're all a bit escaping reality for 40 to 50 minutes. Very oh. true. Right, we'll finish off there and we'll see you on the Andor pod. So thanks for listening. And thank you, Cody, for being on. Thanks for having me. <laughs>